Okay, I'm here with Connie Willis, who just won her seventh, correct? Yes. Seventh Nebula Award. And that, of course, is more than anyone else. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. How's it feel? Great. Oh, great. I'm always so excited. This is, people are like, well, you must not even care anymore. I'm like, of course I care. Of course I care. It's terribly exciting to win. So awards are still important to you? I uh, Yes. Uh, well, I mean, in this field, you're getting the award. It's not so much an award as a recognition by your fellow writers. And they're the ones who love you the most, but they're also the ones that are the hardest on you because they actually know how to do all this stuff. And and uh, so if you're appreciated by them, that means a great deal. They're really hard to please. So During your speech, you seem to indicate that this uh, book was a tough one to push out. Oh, well, it was supposed to be a single novel and it just got enormous and it uh, it turned into at one point it was actually three volumes long and then we managed to squash it back into two it's really just one book but it just spread out over two it was I used to say it grew like Topsy but actually it's more like the blob or something and and uh, World War II is a little hard to condense into a small space so it was a big war yeah a big war <laughs> a big war a great war I mean a, a, a war in which I'm so admiring that um, it, it was a war which truly was a people's war, a war won by shop girls and um, little old ladies and uh, retired firefighters and um, the most unlikely heroes that you would ever find and a bunch of little kids who played their part too. And it, it's just, it's an amazing story. And I was just, I felt so honored to be able to tell the story of all those people because they don't, they don't always make it into the history books, you know. And, uh, and I love all, I love reading about all of World War II, including the battles and everything. But the, the story of the civilians is just hardly ever told and it's so critical, so. Uh, you have a lot of humor in your work. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I love writing humor and I, I, uh, I see the world, that's sort of my natural bent is to see things as really funny and, uh, and uh, it, the, one of the things I think that drew me to the Blitz was that the British people didn't just survive with their backs to the wall and Hitler on the way and terrible things happening. They survived with a real sense of humor. And um, and, and I think that that's a skill that we kind of lack a little bit sometimes. Uh, and so I, I think it's one we need to work on. And I, I'm always drawn, you know, to the people who... I, I grew up... I, I was a very eclectic reader. And I grew up not just on science fiction... Of which you're right. There are a lot of wonder William Tan and Frederick Brown and Shirley Jackson all had wonderful senses of humor. Um, but also reading outside the field, P.G. Woodhouse I love and Jerome K. Jerome and and Dorothy Sayers who writes these wonderful humorous comedies of manners as well. I mean they're mysteries, but they're also comedy of manners. So I'm always drawn to that and uh, and drawn to Dickens and and Shakespeare was pretty darn funny too. So so. Um. Since the last one took so long to put out, what are you working on now? <laughs> oh, I just, you know, the day, the, the day I went on my first uh, convention and said, the book is done, finally, at last, I'm free. Uh, <laughs> the first question from the audience was, so when's your next novel coming out? I was like, not for a while. I'm very slow. I'm always slow. But I'm working on, currently, on a romantic comedy about alien abduction, Roswell, and Area 51. There have been lots of books about Roswell and UFOs, but none, to my knowledge, that are romantic comedies. So, oh, very good. Well, your fans will never let you rest. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that's true. I'll have to die. Connie Willis, congratulations again on your outstanding achievement. Thank you so much. And hope to see you here again next Thank time. Thank you.